Hi, good morning. My name is Ryan Christopher G. Pasqual from University of Days, Manila, taking up BSHM. Uh, so for today's assessment, we will talk about my learnings in Malaysia. Uh, so let's start. Uh, so first is country information. So actually, the country of Malaysia has a monarch or a king that serves as the safeguard of cultural preservation and performs as the head of the Islamic region in Malaysia. Uh, so the position cannot be inherited by their kin and the selection of a new king depends on a roulette uh, between the leaders of each 13 states in Malaysia. Uh, so the currency in Malaysia is called ringgit or Malaysian ringgit. Uh, so one ringgit is equivalent to 12 pesos in the Philippines. Uh, so the nationality of Malaysia, uh, the nationality of citizens in Malaysia are called Malaysians, and their predominant religion is Islam, which makes up 62% of the total population, and the remaining 38% uh, is composed of Christians, Hindus, Protestants, and such. Uh, so the capital city of Malaysia is Kuala Lumpur. Uh, the literacy rate of the country is about 95% of the total population. Uh, there are four UNESCO heritage sites in Malaysia, such as Kinabalu Park and Mount Kinabalu. Uh, the tourist visa in Malaysia lasts for about 30 days or, or a month if you wish to visit the country. Next. Uh, so this is the flag of Malaysia. So the flag of Malaysia is a combined symbol of a crescent moon, a star, and four alternating red and white stripes. Uh, to give it a breakdown, uh, one out of the 13 stripes represents the federal territories of Malaysia. And the remaining 13 constitutes the 13 federal states of Malaysia. Uh, so the crescent-shaped moon represents the royalty of Malaysia and the 14-point star represents the, the same thing as the stripes. Uh, next. Uh, now let's talk about national airlines. Uh, so, so the national flag carrier of Malaysia is called Malaysia Airlines. Uh, Malaysia Airlines is included in the top 10 list of airlines in the world. Uh, direct flights from the Philippines to Malaysia include Manila to Kuala Lumpur and Kota Kinabalu and Clark to Kuala Lumpur and Kota Kinabalu. Uh, additionally, airports from Manila, Clark, and Cebu also offers a direct flight to Peninsula Malaysia and Borneo Malaysia. Uh, so the top international visitors in Malaysia include uh, China, South Korea, Russia, Japan, Taiwan, and the USA. Uh, so the tourism slogan of Malaysia is Malaysia through the Asia. It is one of the most famous tourism slogans in Asia and its meaning is that Malaysia features the entirety of what Asia has to offer. Uh, now let's talk about the top destinations and attractions in Malaysia. Uh, so first is Taman Negara. Taman Negara literally translates to national park. So this destination is the national park of Malaysia and it is very similar to that of Borneo, Malaysia. However, it has less biodiversity. Uh, so the destination is, itself is a treasure cove of both flora and fauna. And you can find many different species of animal here and aesthetically pleasing locations where you may take pictures. Next is Petrona Twin Towers. Uh, this location is most often visited by tourists. It is, it is one of the tallest twin tower buildings in Asia. It is also said to be one of the most iconic symbols in Malaysia. Uh, next, let's talk about the local cuisines. Uh, first is Bakute. Bakute is a pork rib dish cooked in broth and it is popularly served in Malaysia and Singapore. Uh, so the dish consists of pork with a mixture of herbs and spices such as garlic, cloves, cinnamon, star anise, fennel, fennel seeds, and coriander. Uh, additionally, bakute is typically enjoyed with a side of steamed white rice and preserved vegetables. Uh, next is rendang. Uh, rendang is a fragrant uh, coconut beef stew with a creamy and delicate texture. Uh, so the meat used in rendang is most commonly beef, but may sometimes be substituted for chicken and mutton. Uh, furthermore, uh, it is stewed in coconut milk with spices such as ginger, chili, galangal, lemongrass, garlic, shallot, kaffir lime leaves, and turmeric. And that's all for my learnings in Malaysia. I hope uh, you have learned something as well. Thank you.